Hi, this is G, and today we're going to be looking at workspace on addition and importing in addition. All right, and we're back. So the first thing you want to do is open addition. And when you open addition, it'll kind of look like this. Uh, a little bit intimidating, but um, you shouldn't be intimidated. It's actually a little more simple than you think. So if you look at this corner right here, it says files. This is where your imported files are. If you ever use Premiere Pro, it's kind of like you're bringing files from a certain location. So make sure you never move your files. So if you're working with a thumb drive, I would always keep it in the same location. Um, this right here is the media browser. This is where you can actually access all your files on your hard drive on your computer or your um, other external hard drives that you might have connected. This area, if you ever use Photoshop, this is the history section. You could kind of go back and forth to what you've done. Um, and then this big thing right here, this is the workspace where you could have your multi-track, you could edit your single track, and you could, this is really the bulk of where you will be working when you're editing audio. And right below it, we have this thing called the levels. What levels are and how important it is, is uh, when you turn in your projects, your professor might ask you to have a certain level before turning it in. The reason why is because you don't want to be, if you ever watch TV, there's this commercial that comes up, maybe it's really badly mixed, and it just comes up way too hot, meaning it's way too loud, so you really don't want that. So they, TV, um, online, they all have their different levels that they would want it turned in. So we measure this with decibels. That's what it's called, dB. Um, so, you know, we want it negative 12. Some places want negative 6. It really differs. So you might want to ask them about that. So once we have a general idea of, of how addition works, you have to import your file that you want to edit. For today's purposes, we're going to use an audio from one of our other tutorials, Resizing for Web. And the easiest way you could import it is really by dragging it from your file or your file manager. And just dragging it right in this file section and if you see that blue thing it was converting it so you could edit it and really you could just double click on it and then pretty much you have your file ready to edit another way you could do it is you could go to file you could go to import file and then you could find that file um, that you wanted to do so this is just another audio file and there you go it's edited all your files that will be here ready to be edited so that's it. This is Edition 101, and that's how you import uh, audio files into Edition.